and the kind of you know uh, the first time you know I was able to get the rebound, um, turn the ball over, and uh, you know. Uh, but I think the team did just a good job. Just get one more stops. So let's do it again. You know, a lot of times like great players don't miss twice. You know, but uh, they were so good defensively. Uh, just make him take a tough contested two. You know that that's the shot that he wants to shoot, but uh, you know he was off balance, uh, falling away, uh, just you know being being right there, uh, and not just letting him go to the spot easily. Just being physical throughout the whole possession, uh, Andrew and Wes, and um, they did a great job just getting getting the stops. Well, you just said. Great players don't miss twice. What did it mean to you to to miss those free throws, but then to go right back with a chance to to tie and go ahead and to make those? Um, just trusting your work, um, trusting your work. Uh, obviously, both of the shots uh, felt good, but they didn't went in, and uh, I was able to. As I said, I'm not. I'm not um, scared of the of the line. I was able to, you know, uh, drive the ball again and get fouled, and I uh, went to the free throw line. Um, trust my work, uh, and I was able to knock those two down. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, situations like that usually, you know, sometimes players get, you know, um, you know scared. They don't want to go back there. But uh, at the end of the day, I rather I rather miss four in a row and. Obviously, I'm going to be upset, but uh, at least I know I missed four in a row. I'm going to go the next day, try to work extremely hard hard uh, at it and uh, hope for the best the next time. But uh, I, I try not to be you know, scared of uh, the moment uh, and I just trust my work and I hope most of the time the outcome is going to be good. I think it was near the end of your first season with Bud that teams started to try to put centers on you on that, like in that deep drop coverage. Um, you've had some big games against it. And I think two of your 50 point games before tonight have been against it. What have you kind of learned about just how you attack it, how many shots you need to take, what type of shots you need to take, and how you kind of go at that? I just just trust my my skills, uh, trust my instincts. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I I wasn't good at against. I started the game one for seven. Um, you know, it it was working. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, but then at the end of the day, I try to be aggressive. Um, try to create for myself. Try to create for uh, my teammates and uh, just trust trust my skills. You know, I, I know it's going to be a long game. I know that I'm going to be, you know, opening a lot of shots. I just got to shoot them with confidence and um, and just hope for the best. Uh, but at the end of the day, no matter what the coverage is, uh, I gotta be aggressive. I uh, gotta try to get downhill, try to get the free throw line, try to create for my teammates. Just trust, trust all the work that I've put in. Um, but it does, it doesn't really matter. I've, I've, I've seen it all. I've, I've played against uh, double teams. Uh, I've played against being double team in the half court. I've played against denied. I've played against. Double team at the post. I've played against a wall. I've played against uh, the best defender guarding me. I've played against uh, people waiting for me in the paint. I've played against zone. I've played against boxing one. You know, maybe I'm missing something. Uh, but uh, you pretty much try to have the, the answers to the test, you know, as much as you work extremely hard and you trust, you have to trust your technique because the moment you start questioning yourself, doesn't really matter. Uh, you, the moment you, you already lost the battle. Uh, but uh, as much as I trust myself and I, I know my team is going to put me in spot to be successful, uh, the answer to the test becomes uh, easy, uh, easier, not easy. So. Um, yeah, it it worked in in the first quarter. It worked. It definitely worked. Uh, it was one for seven. Um, how do you feel like uh, your rhythm? Did your rhythm change at all once you got Zubats in foul trouble? It felt like you were able to go up against like maybe some different matchups or anything. Like that. I guess how did it change for you after I that? I was in foul trouble. I wasn't. I wasn't aware of it. I was just trying to attack. Uh, obviously, like he, um, you know, uh, he was 
dared me to take a lot of jump shots. And I can I can shoot 25 of them, and uh, you make a couple of them, but your teammates don't touch the ball. You know the ball don't move. Um, that's the shot they want to uh, take. They feel good about their defense. It's kind of hard. It's a battle there. Um, but at the end of the day, I just wanted to be aggressive. I want the defense to feel me. I want uh, to be able to get in the paint, uh, get offensive rebounds, go to the free throw line. You know, uh, uh, and there's going to be times that hey, I have to shoot the shot because uh, I believe it's going to go in. I, it's part of my strengths. But uh, sometimes the team forces you to shoot it every single possession. You know, and like the start of the game, uh, they were like back and back and back and back and back, and it was. It's like you have to shoot it all night, and um, it wo it worked for a while. But at the end of the day, like I kind of uh, had a conversation with Anas, and Anas was like, "Hey, you, you gotta make them feel. You gotta get in the paint. You gotta you gotta uh, draw the crowd. Uh, you gotta bump them. You know, you gotta go dunk something. You know, I know you can make that shot, but dunk on somebody tonight." Uh, and uh, he was right. Once I started getting that mindset. Um, Everything else op opened up for me. Yeah, it's a three fifty point games this season. Uh, Kareem's the only other guy to do it in franchise history. Is is getting to that specific marker like is that special for you to get to fifty versus? I mean, if you have forty nine, you should have a great game. But is it hit fifty? Does that does that mean more to you? Not necessarily. Um, to be honest with you, not necessarily. We still. Like you can you can have 50 and still lose the game. Um, um, have I ever had 50 and lost the game? Yeah, I have. You still can have 50 and still lose the game. So, at the end of the day, you just got to win the game. I, I'd rather have 22 and win the game, you know, because it's all about winning. It's all about putting your team in position to be successful. Um, it's a great compliment to be up there with uh, Karim. I never thought, uh, man, I never thought I'm gonna score 50 in the NBA when I got drafted. You know, it's it's insane, crazy journey. <clears throat> now you know I finish a game and I score 50. I'm like, what the hell just happened? It's, it's insane, but it's a lot of hard work, a lot of um, self-belief. Uh, and being up there with somebody like Karim uh, that played in his franchise, um, it's, a, it's a great compliment. But uh, i got to keep on working hard. I believe that I have, I have more levels to unlock. And uh, I'll do whatever it is you know, I can to keep on unlocking the, the levels and try to be better and try to help my team win and um, try to be great in any way possible. Scoring 50 is fun, though, right? Yeah, it's definitely fun. I go, I go to uh, look. Uh, last time I went to, um, I went to Chick Fil A, and I uh, got the nuggets. But now tomorrow I think I'm gonna go to uh, Culver's. You know, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go get uh, 50 cheeseburgers, and uh, I'm gonna try to eat as many as I can. And uh, the rest, uh, I have my my son eat them, or I give them to my dog. I'm sure they'll be waiting for that. I, I remember about a week ago. Um, you know why I'm going to Culver's? Because uh, Chick-fil-A did not give me no free meals. <laughs> I know Culver's will give me free meals. I trust Culver's. <laughs> uh, about a week ago, you were announced as, as captain for the All-Star team, and I asked you, you know, what it meant to be captain, and um, you said first order of business is selecting Drew Holiday. What made you, made you so sure that he was going to be? I know it, man. He's been playing... Amazing, like we the we the second best team in the East. Uh, um, a chance to be the best team in the East if we keep on playing well. Um, and uh, he is been like he's been balling. Like <laughs> he's been playing amazing. You know, uh, obviously Chris was uh, out and uh, he kind of carried you know a lot of load. You know, he's been super aggressive. Uh, and the games that you know I was in uh, playing, he uh, kind of led the, the team, uh, and, and not just offensively, like he defensively on both ends, uh, he leads, you know. So I knew I knew that he's gonna be all star this year. I, I believed it. Uh, had the conversation with him. Uh, 
he was saying that he'll he'll rather just take uh, some time off. I'm like, nope. I see you in Utah, my friend. You're gonna be right there with me grinding. You know, there's no time off for you. Everybody can go to uh, uh, tropical islands and uh, put their uh, soak their feet in uh, the ocean. We're gonna be right there in Utah. You know, playing the All Star game and playing hard. You know, so I'm very I'm very happy for him. I'm excited to uh, have you know be a part of this journey with him uh, for the first time. Uh, I hope we, we both can do a great job to uh, represent our families, you know, uh, the, the organization, the city of Milwaukee. Uh, I hope we both have fun uh, to the fullest. We get some buckets also. Uh, but uh, he totally, he totally deserves it. And I don't think there's ever been a player to be, in, to be an all-star with uh, 10 years uh, apart. We have to... Uh, Research that, I don't know, because last time he was also, it was 2012, right? Or 13? 12, 13, so 22, 23, yeah, 10 years apart. That's insane to me, and I think he should have been All-Star all more than just two times. Uh, but um, I'm very happy for him, I'm very happy for him, and I'll do whatever I can to uh, have him on my, on my team. Oh, we're down 21 in the third quarter. I think you had, you had 20 yourself in the fourth. Just what kind of turned things around? It seemed after it seemed they were kind of in control of things early in the third. How were you able to kind of get the momentum switched? Uh, um, you know, we made a couple of big plays. Chris made the big shot. Joe made the big shot. Like we made a couple big plays offensively, defensively. Uh, we got stops. We was able to rebound the ball. It's kind of hard with uh, Zupa out there. Uh, we all got to do it together, you know, kind of go back and box him out. Like, uh, it's it's hard. But uh, we did that. We was able to get stops, run the other way, went downhill, create open shots. We made a couple of shots, got some rhythm, and was able to get back to the game. And I think when we got back to the game, we felt like we had the chance to win. And then when we locked in even more and uh, was able to get even more stops and then uh, execute well uh, offensively, uh, we had some shots that fell, uh, gave us the lead at the end, and uh, was able to win the game. Giannis, uh, six in a row now. You want to make it seven, of course, on Saturday, and you've got the Heat, whom you and Chris did not play against uh, last time that you met them. What's going to be the difference maker in having you two in the game on Saturday? So the Heat is uh, they're a great team, a team that plays hard. Uh, they compete for 48 minutes. Uh, we got to come in with the mindset to, of competing for 48 minutes. It's not going to be an easy game. Uh, me and Chris being on the floor, that doesn't make no, no difference. You know, um, we lost the first two games. Uh, we, gotta, we cannot expect that because me and Chris are going to be on the floor, we're going to have a chance to win. You know, uh, we got to go out there and uh, we don't don't talk the game. We we have to play the game. We have to go out there and you know uh, try to win, compete to win. You know, and hopefully me me and Chris can uh, you know help the team on Saturday uh, in the best of our abilities to put them in uh, a place to be successful. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard game. Uh, we got to be ready for it. We got to be ready to play for 48 minutes. Uh, we got to be ready for the physicality. We got to be ready for uh, them trying to shoot a lot of uh, threes and uh, run the floor up and down fast. Um, but at the end of the day, hey, if we if we defend, uh, if we try to get as many stops as we can, rebound the ball, or we we take care of the ball first, we don't throw the ball over. We always have a chance to win, and that's all you can ask for. Um, tomorrow, I don't know what what we have. We have probably. A day to practice, watch some film. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, work on ourselves and uh, take it of our body and get ready for Saturday and uh, try to win that game also. Thanks, Thank you, guys.